So there's a modified salty McCoy rig so I could put this Go Fish cam on. We're gonna put baits on this double drop salty pompano rig. I love the color green and black together. And we're gonna see what we can see, hopefully taking this bait as we fish. Put some bright yellow fish gum on the top dropper. Put ghost shrimp on the bottom dropper. All set. Let's get the camera turned on. Has an inward battery. Put a mini SD card there. We turn it on. We're gonna record in the highest quality that we can, which I get about 80 minutes out of that, which is pretty good. I modified this Go Fish cam. Usually you're not supposed to use this float this way, but this is the only way that I can frame up the action of the droppers on this surf fishing rig. So I'll do a separate video one day of how to set up the Go Fish cam for set rigs. Casting this out with the TFO Tactical Surf Rod by Temple Fork Outfitters. I love the rod. Caught some red snapper from the beach using this rod. There are three stars of the video. The first one is the Go Fish Cam. You're gonna see some incredible underwater footage. The second is Salty's Pompano Rig, which is that rig you're seeing right there. And the third is the fish. And we begin with the Atlantic Bumper. I believe that's what it is. If it's not, let me know in the comments below. Next fish up is a cigar minnow, a tasty critter for king mackerel, and really every species of fish. And now we have a permit. That's right, folks, a permit. He looked at the ghost shrimp, then goes after the fish gum, but eats the float instead and spits it right out. Stick around. I'll give you my thoughts on what I see down here to make us better anglers, and that permit is gone. Pompano time. Float again. Float was what he went after first. Salty, you've got yourself a good product, buddy. And then we got the other one actually getting a hit on the ghost shrimp. And they're gone. Or are they? It is amazing to see that although they did not get hooked, they're still curious over the ghost shrimp and the fish gum, and the pompano rig. And they hang around for a while, in a pair, and they're gone. Are they? Oh, now they are. We've got a school of ladyfish. This is what makes it so hard to fish during the summertime. This is August. You're dealing with a bunch of ladyfish. I don't know what that little volcano is underneath the bait there. It could be air. Or it could be something living in there from Tremors. You remember those things? Stuff like that is down there. I promise you there's some crazy stuff. Huge school of fish in the background. That is more ladyfish. I am surprised that they didn't eat this bait. Usually they will hit anything that is in their path. But they go right by. There goes another fast cigar minnow. This is cast number two. You saw what we had in terms of opportunity in the first cast. Let's see what we have in terms of opportunity in the second cast. Both this time are ghost shrimp. Salty's pompano rig. Go fish cam. Got a pompano coming in from the distance. All this is in slow-mo by the way. I've cut the speed down in half so we can see what's going on so we will not miss anything. That pompano is still there checking out the bait. He's behind the camera. Looks at it. Let's see if he's smart enough to eat it. That is a hook in the mouth. Oh, hook out of the mouth again. Out of the mouth, dropped, going after the dropper number two. Ghost shrimp still. And we're going to see it in slow-mo again. First dropper. It looks like he's chewing it rather than sucking it all the way back. How these fish eat is they suck it in and get it back to their crushers, and that's not what happened. Same thing here. It really looks like it, he's just chewing on it. That is amazing. Not hooked yet. Now he's hooked. The fish is on. You can tell he's hooked. It's going to be very erratic. He's trying to get off. I probably am running to the rod right now back on shore. I'm not reeling it in at this point. Now I am. 
The placement is the camera is down by the seabed, down by the weight, pointing back up at the sky. And we're just seeing this fish go crazy, trying to shake free from Salty's Pompano rig. This is full speed, normal speed. And as you can tell, I know you're getting sick. Sorry. This fish is coming straight in. There's no more erratic fight. And he's about to get landed on the shore. Really interesting to see how far this fight was. I don't remember casting it that far, but evidently it was out there from the TFO. Got it to surf ride by Temple Fork Outfitters. And here he is. Hello. There's me. There's Justin Reed fishing. Hey, Justin. Cast number three. Going back down. This will be the last cast of the day. I have about 180 minutes of footage. There is a ghost shrimp hole. They're really sparse in Florida on the beaches. You find ghost shrimp in a lot of areas in the sounds and bays in large numbers. There's a speckled crab. He will not be here long. The floats really prevent him from stealing the bait. And we have a super school of bluefish. Such a beautiful thing to see under the water. And they're not taking in the bait. They're, look at the camera. The camera is a black object, and I think at times it makes the fish skittish. I am thankful for the level of activity that we had from the permit and the pompano. There's something moving right above the Go Fish Cam emblem, and we're going to zoom in here. I don't know what that is. If you know what that is, it's alive and nothing's eating it, leave a comment in the description below. I'd really like to know what that is. And here we go, another blue fish taking a swipe but not inhaling the bait. And we've got more bluefish coming through. Maybe the same school coming back our way. Maybe another one. Just not enough there for it to eat the ghost shrimp. Here we go. we got a ladyfish. Does take a strike. Does not get hook set. Another one gets a strike at it, but just didn't inhale it in. But it does play with the bait for a long time. Very interesting that it took a solo ladyfish to eat it, but not one in the school. Another pompano. Will it hit? Nope. We're going to finish off with some blues, and we're going to come back and break down what we saw. We may be able to make some adjustments to become better fishermen. That was absolutely mesmerizing. I don't know if you're having this thought right now, but you may have just witnessed the first time there was an actual bite cam for both a permit and a pompano. The first time ever. So let's thank the stars of this video, which is the Go Fish Cam. I will leave a link in the description how to find that camera and a discount code. I am not sponsored by Go Fish Cam. And the second star, which is Salty's Pompano Rigs. I will leave a link in the description on how to find those rigs. And the third star, the fish. Let's talk about what we saw and how we can become better anglers. The very first thing that I noticed is the permit went after the float. Now there may be some opportunities, not on every rig, but on some rigs to work in something that keeps the float and the hook together, where the fish can take it in at the same time. One solution is to make your own float hooks. Now these are controversial because it may close the gap and you may miss some hookups. But we're saying those are controversial without actually ever seeing if that is happening on film. So we're going to see if that is actually happening on film. I have a few more that keep the gap open. It's a tiny one, but the gap is still open. Here's another one that the gap is still open. And that may help not miss opportunities on some fish. The second thing is floats do work extremely well. Not only did the fish actually try to eat the float, it keeps it up in the water column so that the pesky crab below can't grab your bait, steal your bait, bury your bait, and you're out there with a rod doing nothing to attract fish and catch fish. Third thing is that was summertime, and I'm just trying to think through how many pompano that I saw in the frame. I think I saw four pompano in frame. That very day that we caught that pompano on the rig cam, I caught four more pompano on my other rigs, and that was in the dead 
summer. What may that teach us about the actual resident Pompano that are here and even permit? I don't know. A lot of what we know about the migration is theory. Maybe the underwater fishing camera by GoFish Cam on the surf fishing rig to make the rig cam may show us more information about this fish population. Please tell me what you took away. Fill the comment section with all the stuff that blew your mind and tell me what that freaking critter was that was moving around looking like a slug. I don't know what that was. And finally, the last thing, please subscribe to the channel, share this video on, and join me right here next time when we excite to strike. God bless.